All right, guys, Brandon with Aquatics Galore. We're here uh, setting up this tank. We were out and they weren't real happy with uh, the sump they had. They have a lot better technology since when this tank was first installed. I don't know if you can see it behind me. This is just a box with some bio balls. This tank's been set up for over 20 years. And back then they used a lot of freshwater filters for that stuff because not a lot was designed to actually go in saltwater tanks. So this is what you really want for a saltwater tank. You've got hoses that it comes with because typically on most of your tanks there's two drains, there's two on this. If you only have a tank with one drain, you can hook up just one hose. But it does come with two. It comes with the plumbing parts that go, a couple bulkheads that go in there, your filter socks. There's three filter sock holders. There's some tubes down here, if you can see them in the video. Those tubes are actually bubble traps. So all the water goes into those tubes and it bubbles lets the air out, water flows over into the socks, water comes into this area. This is the area we like to set up as the fuge. So we'll put mineral mud in here, which helps get a lot of elements and minerals into the saltwater tank to help establish the tank. They say you're supposed to replace it after six months, but it takes six months to establish a tank. So if you're doing everything right, once you get the tank established, you really don't need to replace the mineral mud. So we go over that with a coarse substrate. The reason we do a coarse substrate is we really like to make sure the minerals can break down, get into the water column, and if you put sand over top of it or anything like that, it's gonna be a lot harder for the minerals to get back into the water column. So if you go over it with something coarse, you leave a lot of room for water to get in and out of that area. What you're also doing in, in the same, at the same time as you do that, you're creating basically a hotel a lot of different channels and areas for pods and other things to get into house you're creating a trap for any detritus or anything that gets in this area after the socks to fall into and that's going to be food for the pods that are housing in that area so we really like to do mineral mud coarse substrate and then over top of that we do a rubble rock the rubble rock helps the macro we put in there. We put macro in this chamber. We put a huge light over top of it. Uh, a good red light. You want a plant light. A lot of people think saltwater tank, but really you want a freshwater plant light or something that's good for growing plants or designed for macro. You put a good macro light over that macro in there. You let the macro root to the rubble rock. You can pull the rubble rock out, drop it in the tank with the macro on it, and then the fish can feed on the macro because this macro is going to grow out of control you're going to end up with way too much macro in here and you're supposed to weed it down. So you can weed it down by feeding it back to the fish. The healthiest thing you can feed to the fish is live. So we got the filter socks, your plumbing coming in, filter socks, your fuge area. In this area, you can set it up. Some people will grow and put a reef light on here. You can grow frags down here, um, put a skimmer down here, whatever your preference is. So we, we normally put a skimmer in this area. There's a bypass channel here that you can put different media in and then you have your return pump chamber you got a sponge down in here the sponge will just help polish the water before it gets pumped back into the tank to make sure you've got crystal clear water coming back in now the nice thing about the pro clears is especially we like hooking up a lot of apex systems this has everything you need to hold all your apex equipment right in here it's got a little spot down here for your heater to set so that way all the water rushing through here gets warmed up. So that way you make sure you're getting the proper temperature back to the aquarium. And uh, this is the Red Flex 400. They come in four different sizes, 100, 200, 300, 400. Actually, there is a 600 as well. Uh, don't install too many of those though. Those things are massive. But yeah, if this is something you guys are interested in, we got it out at the shop. Come check us out. Thanks for watching.